is the smart video doorbell that we're taking a look at today. And before I show you what the app looks like, I do want to tell you a little bit about each of these devices. So first off, the camera portion is rechargeable and they do provide that charger for you. When you are ready to recharge it, you are provided with this pin here and you there's a little hole at the bottom here that you can press and then that will allow the whole camera to come out so you can take it inside and charge it. On this side as well is the reset button and a SD card slot. This is how you hear the doorbell when someone presses it. You're going to hear it on here and through your phone as well. This is not rechargeable. It takes three AAA batteries and those are provided for you. On the side here is a settings button, a volume button, and your different doorbell chimes that you can go through. And the instruction manual that is provided will tell you how to pair this with the camera. This is the portion that you would mount somewhere in your house. And with the mounting, you do get mounting hardware for this camera. So you can screw it into your house or wherever you are putting it. We didn't screw it in since this is brick. We just taped it up with some strong tape. So in order to use this camera, the app that you are going to want to download is called MugView and your instruction manual walks you through how to get it connected to your phone and everything like that. Super simple. It takes just under five minutes and then you are good to go. So once you get it downloaded and everything, have your account made and get it connected, this is what your home screen is going to look like. So first we'll go through some of the settings that you can go through. So you can get into the settings by clicking this button here. And then you have your receive alert notifications, alarm management, image settings, device share, everything like that. So you can go through those and set your camera up however you want it. If you do want videos to be saved, you do need an SD card or you can purchase cloud storage so they are stored that way. An SD card is not provided. So here is the view of the camera once you get it set up wherever you decide to put it. It does have a wide range of view and it is very clear. You have two different video resolutions that you can put it on. This one is on HD, which is going to be your higher definition, which is what I have it on. And it does make everything look a lot clearer, but it is also going to drain your battery faster than the SD, which I will show you what that looks like. So a little bit grainier, it's gonna save your battery. Whatever you choose, it's completely up to you. While you are on the camera screen, there are different things that you can do. You can screenshot, you can press the intercom press the button, intercom which will button, allow which you, will to allow you to talk. This original sound button allows you to change the tone of your voice. You have a record, motion detection, siren. I'll show you what the siren sounds like. So that is to kind of deter people away if you don't want them on your porch. And then you also have an album here, which is where that screenshot is located. History is motion detection that the camera recorded. I don't have any history because I don't have cloud storage or an SD card inserted. So that is the camera portion. Now we'll get into the doorbell portion. So once you click on the doorbell, you're gonna hear it from here. You're gonna hear it from the doorbell alarm over here and it's also gonna come through your phone. And then if you have your settings set up like I do, you can decline the doorbell, answer it, or leave a voicemail, which you do have to get that voicemail set up. But if I answer it, one thing I will make known about this portion is once you answer it, whoever is inside talking, you can hear them through the doorbell very well. If I were to talk into the doorbell to the person inside, the sound quality for some reason is not very good and it's very hard to understand what the person outdoors is saying to you. So that is the basics of the smart camera doorbell and how the app works. I really like it. I think the quality is good besides the sound quality when you are talking through the phone portion of it. However, that's not too big of a deal. You can still see who is out on your porch. So if you are looking to add a little bit more security to your home, then I think the smart video doorbell would be a good choice. I've received this one at no charge for the purpose of this review and it's definitely going to come into good use here.